Whether you're buying your first rental property or your 20th, please listen to this story as it could save you some money. My name's Coach Warman. I'm a father and a husband, but I like to lift weights. I'm a business owner and a real estate investor. Anybody that has bought a rental property in their life, you know that dealing with lenders can be one of the worst or one of the best experiences throughout the entire process. When purchasing my very first rental property, I had a massive issue with the lender that I was using. The first lender, super arrogant, super rude, but we had no other option. That's for a different story. Second property, second lender, I had only one issue. Other than that, everything went great. This lender was young. They didn't know what they're talking about. And he told me that I could purchase the property under me personally. And then 30 days goes by, I can then transfer it into my LLC. But he was lying. So I got caught holding the bag. I now don't have as much protection because it was under my name and not the LLC. I would have had to pay off the entire mortgage to transfer it over or refinance. And now with my third property, I just alleviated a massive issue by just asking a question and being very upfront. I will not provide names of these lenders. However, I've used this lender in the past and they've done very, very good for me except for that one issue. So I decided to use them again. Because I used them again, they were going to give me a very, very sweet deal. They were gonna give me $1,600 towards closing costs because I'm a returning customer. I got every single term that I wanted in the loan and they gave me an extra $500 towards closing costs because I was a returning customer and have referred others to them. So with my prior experiences in the past where they promised me something that they cannot do, I made sure I was not caught holding the bag. So this lender sent out their term sheet and there was no $1,600 credit and no $500 credit and the terms weren't exactly what I wanted. So next time you go buy a property, say this, I'm sure you will do it, but I have been screwed by a couple lenders in the past. Can I get this in writing or guaranteed somehow? Because last time, if I would have said, hey, I need it in writing that I can transfer this to my LLC, I would have been good. But now I have a little bit more experience and I'm very upright. So I said, I need this guaranteed before I move forward. Guess what? They complied perfectly. Absolutely. We will send it off in the morning and it now is in writing. However, if I would have signed the first agreement without the 1600, without the 500, they could go on their discretion. They could give it to me. They could not give it to me. But now if I sign that document, it is over. I get those credits. So moral of the story, get everything in writing. Do not take text messages as gold. We have to get everything in writing in our term sheet, in our cost sheet, so that you do not get caught holding the bag like I did.